Hi everyone. Welcome to the Sun City Stitchers channel. I'm Carlene and I'm Marlene and this is floss tube number 61. We are coming to you today from the southwest corner of Missouri um, at what used to be our mom's house right on Table Rock Lake. Um, so our background looks a little different. <laughs> we had a terrible time getting yeah, set up. It's a little bit and challenging here. I know the window it's, is yeah. not good no. in the back, but it is what it is for today. Yes. She has a lot of windows, so that it's really hard to get good lighting here because... Yes, it's either too much light or yeah. not enough light, mm -hmm. or well, mostly so, too much too light. Too much light, uh -huh. so. so, we've been juggling things around for mm -hmm. probably the last half an hour, yes, I think. Yes, I think so. So it's been a mess. Um, First of all, happy National Cross Stitch Day. Um, we, to celebrate, mm -hmm. we are going to do a giveaway at the end of this mm -hmm. video, so stay, stay tuned. tuned. We're gonna do two um, giveaways. We have two charts to give away, courtesy yes. of Nancy, Nancy Waller, Waller of Faith Works. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much, Miss Nancy. Yes. And thanks to Deb. Um, in our um, Sun City the, Stitchers Facebook, Facebook group. group. Mm -hmm. Um, for posting about um, the National Cross Stitch Day and she also um, gave you a link for a little freebie chart. Yes, from Pickle Barrel Designs. Yes. It's, so really it's really cute. cute really so cute chart. if you are in that group, make sure you head over there today and check it out mm -hmm. and see that chart. And then if you're not... It was posted by Deborah um, Chewing, right? Yes, Deborah Chewing was the one that posted mm -hmm. it. And, um, and if you're not a member of the group, you can ask to join the group on Facebook, Sun City Stitcher. So make sure you take a minute and do that today so that you can get that chart. Um, so it's very cute. So thank you, Deb. Yes, thank you very much for sharing that. Um, life updates. Uh, Charlie and I celebrated an anniversary since we last did our floss August tube. First. Our 25th anniversary. Yes. Um, we had a very nice day. Charlie mm -hmm. worked, of course, but he was already, he started back to school that week in service, teacher in right. service days. Mm -hmm. um, and I, but I was, I was at home. I did a new start, which I'll share in a little bit. Um, and then we went out for dinner. Mm -hmm. We had a really nice dinner at um, West Texas Chop House. Yeah, they just one just opened up by up by your house, right? Yeah, so, so it, was it was close, close by. And, so that was so good. we went there and we had dinner. Somebody else cooked mm -hmm. for us. Yeah, and so I'd gotten a small little cake uh -huh. at Albertson's Bakery. And, so you went um, home and had dessert. Yes, we did. We had dessert at home, so it was a very nice day. Yeah. What about you? What's happening well, with I you? Well, I finished up tutoring um, last Thursday, and um, and I'm kind of getting some new little students lined up for when I start in September again. So that'll so, be for the school year then? Yeah, for the school year. Uh -huh. So I'm getting that kind of set up. And other than that, I've just been enjoying my time off and class teaching. And we, so drove, we drove here to Missouri last Friday, yes. and we decided not to do it in one day. Mm -hmm. um, it's manageable in one day, but I just feel like since I've had COVID, mm -hmm. I just, um, I get tired more quickly. And uh, even though we know the road and we're familiar with the road, there's uh, a section right at the very end when we're most tired, uh, that there's a lot of deer mm -hmm. and the road is very curvy and windy. And I just did not want to be driving through that when I was not feeling alert. Right. And um, so we stayed in Oklahoma mm -hmm. City. Yes, and, and that then, was really nice. Yes, it was. I we had a restaurant right next And it was a really door. hot day when we were uh -huh. traveling. So it was actually really nice to be able to get so in early. So we got, yeah, we got mm -hmm. in we a little We had a cute little restaurant seven. right next door called Black Bear. Black Bear Diner. Black Bear mm -hmm. Diner. Really good food. Yeah. We had a glass of wine, wine with dinner. Mm -hmm. So it was yeah. really it was really nice. And then mm -hmm. we got up early and well not really early, but we left right away in the morning. So we still got here about noon mm -hmm. on Saturday. Yeah. One, so it was really yeah, one it was a little after one. Mm -hmm. So anyway, it was very nice and we're glad to be here. Uh -huh. Um we haven't really done anything as far as in the house. Uh, no. we just relaxed and enjoyed the space and knowing that our mother's very very happy that we're here mm -hmm. um, so we're we're enjoying that 
we did already make a trip to Branson. Yes, we did. Specifically to Cecilia Samplers. Yes. And, um, and so we'll so, show you our haul yes, a little we, later. Yes, we picked up some things, yes. of course. Mm -hmm. So... And then, um, and then we had a really nice lunch at a little barbecue place. Yes, we'd not been uh -uh. there before. We'd driven past it a number yeah. of times, but it was, um, I think it's a, one of those places that's been in Branson yeah. forever and is mm -hmm. well known by the community. Yeah, called by the local Dana's, people. Dana's Barbecue, Burgers and, Burger, and Barbecue. I think Burgers and Barbecue, yeah. We had barbecue sandwiches, mm -hmm. barbecue beef sandwiches. It was delicious. It was delicious. So it was really good. good. Mm -hmm. Um Anyway, so, so we had an we yeah. had a fun uh, yes. a fun day, fun yes, afternoon, a really fun fun day there. And then, other and than then, that, it's been and Linda, our older sister Linda, has been here, but mm -hmm. she went back to Joplin yesterday, and um, so we have a few days just here, just the two of own. us. Yes, so it's nice. So yeah, so yeah. it's been good. It's always fun when she's so. here, and it's fun to be here, just the yes. two of us too. So yeah. So. Okay, stitching progress. No finishes. Finishes. I have. I have two finishes, and I, I actually had one more. My June sheep spool got finished, but I already fully finished it, and it's at home in El Paso. So I'll show you that when we get back to El Paso. So I did finish Hedgie's Christmas, except yeah, for the beads, and there's some little buttons that have to go on. So um, he is done. And then I also finished... Candy Cane Christmas. I finished this in El Paso, but I brought it along because I want to fully finish it. So this is Candy Cane Christmas by Faith Works Designs. Both of these were Faith Works mm -hmm. Designs. This they one, were ones that were at camp. Camp last, last year, year, that's right. This one was... Um, one of your 12 by 12 starts? It was a 12 by 12 start, and it's going to be finished as a little pillow, so I will finish, finish that and while I'm here. And this is the snow globe one, That's right? the one that's finished as a yeah. snow globe. Mm -hmm. So um, they were both done on 28 count, called for floss from the pattern. This is opalescent, I think. Yes, it's a 28 count opalescent. And um, Hedgy was done on 28 count uh, Nordic. Icelandic blue. Icelandic blue. Icelandic blue. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Then we had some new starts, yes, you want right? To show your first one. I had a new start for my anniversary. The Plum Street Samplers. This is the day. And my goal, I, I would really like to get this one uh, finished. I don't know if that's going to happen, but I would like to get it finished in August. Um, Ooh, you have a lot I'm left almost to do. done with page one. Long. So this is what I have. Oh, you're working on the flowers over here. Yes, that that bouquet of flowers mm -hmm. on the outside of the house. That's I'm pretty. stitching this on um, fiber on a whim, milk and honey, forty count. Oh, that's pretty. Fabulous. With one strand of floss, uh, anchor floss. The called for. Mm -hmm. It's anchor floss, right? Um, some a mix. Oh, I, I'm using classic the colors. Color. Yeah, some classic colors. Some she switched to anchor from DMC, and then um, a, couple a couple of, of weak style works. Mm -hmm. So that is so it's a combination. My new start for this is the day. Yes. Okay, and then we both had a new start for August. Our Bristol samplers. I'm doing Louisa Coolimore. Is a hands across the yes, sea design. Hands across the sea. I'm stitching Mary Hillier. And this is what I have done on mine. Is it showing? I can't yes. see. Yes, yes, it's perfect. So that's, that's what I have done on mine. I'm still working on this one today and tomorrow. The so. first alphabet is uh -huh. very, um, very ornate. Yes. And a lot of stitches in every mm -hmm. letter. Yeah. I don't think I need that because mine is folded. Okay. We are both stitching on 40 count milk and cream and sugar. Cream and sugar. Yeah. By fiber, fiber on, on a whim. Mm -hmm. 40 count cream and sugar. 
So this is mine. And what color? You're, we're both using oh. one strand of Treenway Treenway silk. silk. Mine is number 20. Mine is number 42. So uh, there wasn't a color name. Mm -mm. It was just... So this is what I have done. I'm going to work on this until I get the first page done. I have two more rows of letters oh, on the first page. My page is really big. I still have a lot to do on my page. Yes, she has more stitches on her page yes. than what I do on mine. Okay, okay so those were new starts. Mm -hmm. So then we're going to talk about stitching our, progress. Yes, our stitching progress. All right, so. So one that I worked on. Go ahead. Was my um, hands up, another hands across the sea, um, Anne Thomas. That one and is so pretty. It is really pretty. I think and yours is okay with all yeah, the portions. So it's mm -hmm. folded. And this is what I have done. Um, and I'm doing this with um, the DM, called for DMC, and then I'm doing it on oh, Dune um, from Atomic Ranch, 40 count, 40 count Dune by Atomic Ranch. So move it a little closer that so we can see so the flower. That is so pretty. Now, Marlene, do you, is the white flower gonna show up okay or do you think you need to yeah. make a color change? No, I, I think it will be okay because I, I don't have it all oh, filled in. Oh, you don't have it no, all filled no, in. No, I'm still oh. working on filling it in. And then there's another green there's leaf a green that goes leaf down, down here on the okay. bottom, too. All right. So, I was yeah, like, I think, oh, no, I think it's it going to be a up. ghost flower. No, no, I think it will show up. <laughs> okay. I just have it just filled it out. Yeah. Look at the detail mm -hmm. in that. It's Isn't really that pretty. just stunning? It's so fun. Show the picture again. It's so fun to stitch. Yeah, because, see, this white flower really shows up good. Mm -hmm. But you are you don't have that whitest no. color mm -hmm. in yet. Well, no. you have a little bit a little of it bit down, down there. there. I think it will be okay. I'm hoping, I think so. I'm hoping it will be. Because, well, that fabric is dark, but mm -hmm. I thought this one was pretty dark, mm -hmm. too. But maybe it was a little so darker. I, I think it will be okay once I get it all filled in. Because, see, I only have that little bit done. I don't have any yeah. of this filled in. So, yeah, I think it will be okay. I uh, worked on Changing Seasons by Fox and Rabbit Designs. Uh, I am stitching this on 32 count light sand. Oh, wow, you have a lot done. And I got, I got started, no, I think it's okay. I got started a little bit on the border. I finished the spring banding i got that all done and the pot finished and then i got the oh, summer really done do you want to put the the yeah. thing back there the board and then that's the summer i i was thinking about not putting the spring well spring summer the words uh i want to put the the verse from Ecclesiastes about oh, a time. for every season, every a time season. for every. Oh yeah, that would. Be I nice. think you could just backstitch the words and go mm -hmm. go around. I would I would start on on a side like mm -hmm. on the left, mm -hmm. so that you read around and then put the notation of the Bible verse down here mm -hmm. at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that would be so nice. I. I just don't like the idea of the spring, summer, winter. So I want to work and get the fall swag done and then keep plugging away on that border. Yeah. So that's what I have done on Changing Seasons. That's very I'm good. using, um, we're using a combination. Yes. Anchor, mm -hmm. uh, some overdyed silks, a Gloriana silk. Um, so yeah. Okay, and this is another one I worked on. The beach is calling. You want to hold this while I yes. get it on my book? So pretty. That's Marley. what I have done. Can you bring it down a little so they can see the trolley? <gasps> oh, that's, that's so pretty, Marlene. I have done on that. 
and she has just a little bit left on the other side yes we counted we were a little nervous but she has plenty of space with extra left so yeah about two um, almost three inches almost three inches so so, yeah you're good be okay yeah i did it going the wrong way she could have done it going Going the other way but it doesn't matter we counted and she's good yes so that's good so then i worked on um my home sweet home the back stitching on beach bungalow and i'm almost done i finished filling in the sand oh and i don't well maybe i finished filling in the sand and oh, then yeah. I'm, I'm working on the, the back, back stitching. stitching. I'm almost done. I have just the wharf left down mm-hmm. here. And then I'm going to begin working on Timeless Tutor. Doing more on that one. Oh, so yes. Yeah. That's, that's mm-hmm. my home sweet home. What okay. else did you work on? Um, then I'm working on Oh, Hazel's I'll show mine now, stocking. too. I don't, those this, will be thick enough. This is for my great niece, Hazley. And so this is what I have done. This is what I worked on in the car when we were traveling. That's such a big I count. I worked on filling in her coat. No, we still need this. Okay, bring it down a little. So that's I. That's all I worked on in the car was filling in her coat for both days. So it so took quite a while, cute. but it was fun. It was easy stitching in the car. So now I'm working on putting in the moon and then I'm going to go back down and finish her candy cane and then do the flower. We're doing this on 18 count natural linen. Yes. And then what are you going to do after the flower? Um, the go, I'm going up to the board, the board doing that border, those border flowers. Um, and then we're using the called four um, flosses, yes. which are the the number five pearls, oh, wheat, number five pearl, and um, some either anchor or DMC, mm-hmm. whichever we had in our stash. Yeah. And this is mine. I'm doing um, Parker's stocking. And so I have this much done. Oh, that's good. On him. Oh, coming along really so the well. next time when I stitch, I'm going to work on the snowman on this mm-hmm. side of him. And I want to get the the name and stuff put uh-huh. it on up here. That's so, good. Yes. They're mm-hmm. coming along very nicely. Yes. My goal is to get mine done before I leave here. Except for putting on the buttons. I might do that when I get back. Um, but that's all I, I'm hoping that's all I have left to do. Hey, okay, what else have you worked okay, on? And then I worked on um, America the Beautiful from Stitching with the Housewives. And this is what I have done. That is so pretty. So pretty. You're working on the bee. On the bee, yes. I'm doing the bee. And she had to take one flower Flower out. out. How annoying. Because it was in the wrong spot. So that's very pretty. Mm -hmm. I've been working on my God Bless America. We should. Oh, is it back? Sorry. I'm working on God Bless America. And this is what I have done. Probably don't need this, but whatever. Or yeah, you do. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. I love that house. Yeah, it's very pretty. I, really like I have that. the blue stitches, the highlight stitches to put in up here mm-hmm. on God, and then I'm ready so can to see the house. Start on the. I'm ready to start on the flowers that go up on each side. I love side. the little buntings on the house. That's so Isn't cute. that cute? It's really and cute. then the little picket fence down on each side has buntings also. Oh, yeah, it does. Uh-huh. So That's I'm going to finish this this afternoon and then start on this side. Mm-hmm. Well, this side, the left side. Left side. That's mm-hmm. cute. 
I love that and design. Your flowers, oh, your flowers are like that. They're striped flowers. I don't oh, yeah. think they're going to be no, as hard they as won't yours. Be as Here, this is your pattern. Because, see, mine have that little outline. Oh, yes. That's yeah, mine okay. don't. Mine it are just striped. So then I worked on quilted bees. I don't have anything else. That was my last and one. I'm stitching quilted bees on 32 count light sand. Yes. Oh, I want to go back to work on mine. And I I finished filling in the yellow patch. That's really pretty. Um, and then started on the pink um, one oh, down, down here. Yes, that one. So the the other. So patch, you're still working on the first page. On the right? first page. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm I have one, that pink patch to finish, and then one other one this to do. This one with and these then little moving. flowers. I know I love this one. I didn't mm -hmm. want to put it away. But I'm working on this patch right here, but on the second page, and I'm filling in the green. So she's working here. Uh -huh. And this. I'm getting, and then once I get done with that, I think I'm going to go up here and put that. So you've already in. done this one? Yeah. Um, no, no, that's on, the, that's on the second page. Okay. Oh, so you're working on this? Yes, on this one. Have you, yes. and this was on the this first one, page? Yes, this one. So almost, you're ready to I had do a, there's little a little left, tiny bit little left, left, but left, I finished right. that. Yes, I finished that. It mm -hmm. looks not that big, but then when you start stitching it, it's very Oh my very gosh, big. they're really big. Okay, yes. then I had so. to work on nostalgia for a homework because I needed a couple and a tree. So this is actually block nine. I am working on block six. And I, I don't know what we're doing this on. It's a 28 count, but I don't know what the fabric mm -hmm. is. I don't remember 28 what it was count either. over one, for sure we need that. Over here, is this where you were working? Yes, I was working on these little people. People. So I got the little <laughs> men's shirts in and all of the little girls' dresses done. They're headless. They're all headless except this first one, and she doesn't have any hair. No, she has then, a square head. Yes. So that's pretty. This one is going to go on my wheel so that it comes up and I have oh. to work on it. Because mm -hmm. I do enjoy it when I work on it. It's yeah. just not one that I pick to get out because there's all those color changes. And then I worked on Lavender Mint because I needed a kitchen scene. And this one, These I am were all almost for her magical stitches. Magical stitches. My homework is all done for this month already. This was magical stitches, a kitchen scene. Mm -hmm. So it was like, oh, you could have a teapot and a teacup and a little tea strainer mm -hmm. in as a kitchen scene. Oh, yeah. So all I have left is to finish. I have a second color to put in here, um, another stock of lavender, and a little butterfly. And then this one is finished. Oh, wow. That's so this very, one's going to get yeah, done in good. August. That's good. Yes. And then I also worked on Honeybee oh, Garden because I needed to do a project with letters. They didn't specify whether they meant like letters from someone yeah. or whether they meant alphabet letters, but I used alphabet letters. So Honeybee Garden, I worked on the N in honey. Mm -hmm. So that's all I have that's done. Good. This one. I have the N and the E done and the little. But you have this. some fun things yeah, done down, down here, underneath down garden, here. don't yeah. you? Mm -hmm. and do I have some of that gar work garden done too? I think so, because I you did so. these. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have done this down yeah. here if you yeah, hadn't I think done I have something some of that up here. Too. So, yeah, I have that. Yes. So that one's very cute. Okay, so that's stitching progress. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> Then the hall? Hall. You want to show your? Well, so let's show these. Oh, when we went to bag. Cecilia Samplers. We got, well, we bought stuff and then with our purchase, we got a really cute little bag. They always have the cutest mm -hmm. little bags. Yeah. Really yeah. cute. 
So um, it has their logo. It's very nice, a nice little zipper inside. Mm -hmm. It's perfect for like a small little project. Mm -hmm. I think it would be perfect for a car project. Oh, yeah. And then it has a little pocket okay. on this side okay. that's nice and roomy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I really it's loved really it. It was it's very really cute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, this would be really perfect. Yeah. Too cute. Or really even cute. for a little, um, like, for the little tools or something. Yeah. So It's cute. Mm -hmm. It's very cute. I like it, too. And it has a little draw, a little strap yeah it's long and it's mm -hmm. adjustable yeah you can adjust mm -hmm. it so that's nice because mm -hmm. that yeah like so that that would cute. be perfect mm -hmm. it's very cute yeah really cute very very cute okay then should we show our oh sure first we have to this. find my stuff because okay so that kind of and then when we went there we got we each picked up some of the well, Prairie Schooler. I Santa's. watched. Whose floss tube did I watch that she was? Oh, it was Liz Matthews. Oh, yeah. Hello from Liz mm -hmm. Matthews. And she was saying that she was trying to collect all the Prairie Schoolers because they first started. Did mm -hmm. I talk about this yeah. once before? I don't, I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember either. Well, anyway, they started in 1984 mm -hmm. doing an annual Santa. And so then we went and looked in our stash, and we had I had one other one. Marlene didn't have any. Have so any. when we went to um, Cecilia Sampler's, we checked to see what they had, and they had the last three years and then the current yes. one, 2023. Mm -hmm. So they had four years. Yes. So we both have the one for this year. Yes. I actually ordered mine from Primrose, Primrose, Primrose Cottage. Cottage. I ordered it with the other one. Okay, and then did you get 2022? Yes, I got 2022. I got 2022 also. So cute. Mm -hmm. With the penguins. And then did you get any others? No, I'm okay. going to pick those two up when we go next, next time. Next time. Then I got 2021 Hopefully with the little forest there. animals. That's it's really very cute. cute. It says Winter Woods. And then North Wind was 2020. And I think that one's yes. really cute, too. The rabbits are getting a ride. Yes. Perfect. So, That's I, I want to do these on, small on like, a, not maybe 40 count, but something so that they would be small and then mm -hmm. finish them as little ornaments. I'd like to do, like, a little rustic tree and do just oh, the Santa mm -hmm. ornaments on it. Wouldn't that, that would be, be really cute? cute. Mm -hmm. that so, would be really I would cute. like to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very cute. And, and then, then I got. I also two. downloaded um, from Primrose Cottage uh, the stitch along that they're going to be doing. Emily is doing it. Uh, the apothecary. That's cute. I just love this design. And I'm going to stitch it on this fabric. It's actually a fabric we got at Hobby, Hobby Lobby. Lobby. It's 20, no, 32 count Murano Carry, maybe. I don't know how you say it. And it, the color was ice, but Marlene and I tea dyed it. So I like the grungy look oh, of yeah. this. Mm -hmm. I need to press this before I start stitching. Mm -hmm. And then it's stitched with just one color, which is the Weeks Dye Works Coal. So that will be the color. That's really cute. I love it. I Salem think it's a, Sisters Apothecary. Salem Sisters Apothecary, and it's going to be a stitch along. It's on their website, and also they've talked about it on their floss tube. Uh, not really? their website. Um, it, Salem Sisters Apothecary. Um, okay. Finest it, Potions. Oh, Finest Potions. Tinctures, tonics, brews. And spells. Charms, Charms and spells. Charms and spells. Yes. So it's really cute. I love this. So this was a PDF really download. And they they have um, some information about it on their Facebook page. And then, which is uh, Primrose Cottage and Stitch. It's Primrose Cottage Stitches, I think. And then they talk about it on their floss tube. There's information um, 
in their Etsy shop as far as buying the pattern. What else uh -huh. did you get? Um, and then I got two Plumistry samplers from um, at Cecilia Samplers. I got the Spring Moon. That came out new at mm -hmm. uh, Market, Market March mm -hmm. in March. So I picked that one up, and, and then, this one was new also, but yes. it just came out. And then I, they had the Summer Moon. I think I'm gonna have to get those two because so, I love those. I, I love know, I Spring too. Moon when it. I love Summer Moon. It's very it's pretty. So summery and yeah, and I like the rabbit. Yeah, and there's yeah. the big rabbit on this one too. Spring mm -hmm. Moon. Oh yeah, in the basket. No, he's kind of like leaping over, over the, the house. Basket. Oh yeah, he's leaping over. Yeah, and I like the blue flowers. Yeah, it's pretty. Anyway, and I'm then excited. I got a Halloween one, Silver Creek samplers, uh, flying lessons. I know that Fat Quarter Shop is doing this as a stitch along. Also, I'm not going to do it as a mm -hmm. stitch along, but I just love the pattern. It's so cute. That is cute. Dusk to Dawn, Fly by Night, Aviation Institute, established in 1692. <laughs> I think it's very cute. I like it's the colors. Cute. And then I got a Blackbird design, Away We Ride. I just saw somebody stitching this, and I think it's so pretty. That's so, really pretty. Is I mean, it not blacks, too? Or no? Oh, no. It's different colors. Yeah. Yeah, it's different colors. It's hard to see with the light. And then if the last time we had a floss tube, I showed you that we had gotten the 2023 snowman from Primrose mm -hmm. Cottage. And I told you that I'd managed to snag yes. a finishing kit. And so it came, so I wanted to show it to you. So this is the cute little uh, paddle That's or really horn cute. book or whatever these things are called. Um, has the little uh, snowflakes that are kind of um, carved into the wood. Engraved. Yeah, engraved. And then this is the finishing. So you got the ribbon, um, the little button in here. It's like a little um, poinsettia. And then the fabrics that we need for finishing. Mm, so cool. you can see here how they did it. So oh, this is the really little cute. button and then the two ribbons and then the two fabrics and um, the, the little rickrack as well. So I have the finishing for those whenever we start those. So yay. Finish them. Yes. <laughs> and then I can finish them. Once we, we have to start them before I can yes. finish them. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So that's our haul. So we had a lot of haul again. Quite a bit of haul. Okay. And then what's coming up? I'm going to keep working on Hazley stocking, and then I'm going to keep working on my Bristol sampler um, today and tomorrow, and then tomorrow I'm going to spin my wheel. I, I am spinning my wheel too, but I'm going to, I want to get the rose border done on Grandma's Rose Garden. Oh, uh-huh. It goes so like that's, this. That's the one that goes all the way around. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. This is only the first color. I think there's two more colors oh, on uh -huh. it. So it looks like this. Mm. Sorry. I just got sleepy. So that's oh, yeah. Grandma's Rose Garden. So you're doing this one? I don't, one of them. Is that, I mean, well, I mean, that's the border you're on. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this, this border right here. Okay. Okay, what else are okay. you working oh, on? Oh, um, I'm going to, this is one of my possible things I could spin and land on. Cloister Garden. By Drawn By thread. Drawn Thread. This came with the fabric yes. and the threads. the threads. So we're using um, Soie Delger, and it's on 32 count, uh, 32 count linen. And this is what I have done. Lavender Mist. Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah. here. You have so much done on that. I know. It's very pretty. It's really fun. And now that I'm down here to the specialty, it goes um, pretty fast. It goes really fast, yeah. Yeah. Because the rows pretty. aren't really long. And no, they're not. No. So it's really fun. I really love working on it. 
I'm gonna work on my August, which is all these beehives by heart and hand. Where did my picture Your go? pattern is here. And so I have just this done, but I but that's the hard part, the border and oh yeah. Then the little beehives will go quick. Mm -hmm. Oh, upside so down. So cute. The little beehives. These will turn go out quickly. so cute. Yeah, they do, and they're and they're pretty quick. Mm -hmm. And then another one that I'm could maybe spin because I'm doing afternoon stitches for spinning too, is my Louise and Henry. And this, where's the board? Oh, right here. This is what I have done on that. I would really like it if I could maybe get this, the sheep and stuff done and then be able to work on grass in the car on the way back. Yeah, just filling in grass, mm -hmm. that would be good. That would be good. So anyway, those are, I, that's a possibility. It depends on what comes up for my spins. And then I wanted to get the page one finished on Bella Roma. Oh yeah, I, so I have want this to work on much that one too. done. She's one of my and possibles then too. The the background here is what I have left mm -hmm. to work on, and a little bit more filling in the darkest mm -hmm. uh, red or pink or uh, in her hat. Yeah. So there's that one. And the ribbon, you have to put the ribbon on her hat too. Oh right? yes, mm -hmm. yes, some of the ribbon. And then, uh, did you have any others? Nope, that's it. Okay, and then I have Pretty in Pink that I would like to work on. And um, I don't have very much done. I just have this. Was that one of your new starts in June? Stacy Nash. It was a stitch or along in that July? I started. No, June. June. That's really pretty. I'm doing it on the 40 oh, Count that's Dune. that's Stacy Nash. Yeah. 40 Count Dune. And so oh, I would like to my... get more done on this. That's pretty. So... Mm -hmm. That is what I have coming up. Very good. Yes. Okay. No. Any do our giveaway? Oh yes. So for our giveaway in honor oh. of National, National Stitch Cross Day, Cross Stitch Day, National Cross Stitch Day, we have two patterns. Yeah. Um. So these were courtesy of Nancy mm -hmm. this at is, Faith um, Works. A blackbird design. The loose feathers. Um, the fruitful, fruitful vine. The fruitful vine, and it's a, it's ab, loose feathers. Absidid, how do you say that word? Absidarian, ab, absidarian series. Absidarian series. Book six, I believe it says number six. So we have this it's one. Really pretty. That's number one, or number two, is this one. It's the carriage house sampler of eighteen seventeen. This is um, a cross stitch antiques Carter oh, House sampler. Was there a name on it? Oh, Carter House sampler. Yes, Carter House sampler. Mary Atkins, Mary Atkinson. Oh, okay. and her sampler, Mary Atkinson Franklin, March, eighteen seventeen. So that's this one. So that will be number two. So in the comments, tell us what you're stitching on, something you're stitching on, and then comment either one or two or both. And we will do a drawing and announce it next week. So make <laughs> sure that you respond for that. And anything else, Marlene? I don't think so. It's been hot here, but it is supposed to cool down a little bit next week. Well, so that's good. It rained so one day. Yes, we did have but a now rain it's been hot, hot so it's humid. It's really hot today. Mm -hmm. Really hot. And um, we're going to our our sister's coming back down, and she's bringing her granddaughter. So our little great niece is yes. going to be here for a few days. So we're going to be going over to Eureka one evening. Um, we're going to go on a, a ghost mm -hmm. tour. At the hotel, at the Crescent Hotel. At the Crescent Hotel. So that's going to be mm -hmm. fun. We've never done that. No, and then, and then we're going to have pizza. At the top. At the top. Yay, top I love that. Their pizza is so yes. delicious. Yes, it is. So we hope that you all have a wonderful weekend, that you get lots of time to cross-stitch, that you're staying where it's cool. And anything else? Um, 
And we hope any of our teacher friends that are back in school, we hope you had a good week. El Paso ISD started. This was the first week with the kids. kids. So, you, yes, we hope you all had a first good first mm -hmm. week back, that you have wonderful students. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. All right. On that note, remember that a day without laughter is like a day without sunshine. So wherever you are, bring your own sunshine. And keep, keep on, on stitching. stitching.